Hey, you beautiful people of the internet. How are you guys doing today? Hopefully great and welcome back. So as you guys can tell from the title of this video, I'm going to be showing you guys exactly how you can go and rank up your weapons or max them out by yourself. Because let's be honest about one thing. No one wants to actually go to Hydron and keep ranking yourself up back and forth, back and forth. Eventually, you're going to get sick and tired and you're going to get burnt out from the entire game. And also, why not rely on yourself? You know what I'm saying? But before I continue with the video any further, ladies and gentlemen, if you would like to support me or the channel any further, remember to leave a like as this does help me out a ton. And of course, don't forget to spot the subscribe button for more Warframe videos and streams. And also, ladies and gentlemen, go and join the Discord. There is a link down in the description. There I'm going to be streaming. I'm going to be there from elsewhere. And of course, if you guys would like to join me during my live streams, go and join that Discord as I do. Would like to interact with every one of you guys as well as I'd like everyone to go and help each other out. Because let's be honest about one thing. Why not play Warframe with the homies instead of by yourself, you know, get more stuff done, help one another, and of course, have a much more good time, or have a better time. Without further ado, let's get this video on the road, shall we? So, our chosen Warframe is going to be Ivara, purely because of the fact that we are required to go and be stealth and discreet while going and killing these enemies. And why not go and pick the best frame out there, that being Ivara. So just like every other build video that I currently do have on Warframe, remember links will be down in the description and I will be suggesting those at the top right. Every single one of my builds are a zero former base build because that's how we like to roll. So as for the build, here's what we're going to be rolling around with. So when it comes to our aura, we are going to be rolling around with energy siphon. If you guys don't want, don't want that, feel free to go and replace energy siphon with either corrosive projection or even shield reduction. We've got ourselves power drift, August secrets and intensify. Having these mods will then give you an increase to your extra loot drop chance. So while you guys are busy killing an enemy, sometimes you'll find yourself actually in between a group of enemies while they are currently sleeping. This also means that you'll be able to go and pickpocket them and go and spawn in an energy orb. Next up is we are going to be having fleeting expertise and streamline for max efficiency. Now remember, the higher our efficiency, the less our drain per second will be. And remember, rather have a rank 4 of both of these as the cap is only 175. And of course, we do want to go and have our duration because remember... I don't know when this patch actually did happen, but at one point, you only need to go and have efficiency to lower your drain per second. Nowadays, you have to make sure that you've got duration, efficiency, and of course, we are going to be using infiltrate because remember, we want to go and move a little bit faster. The biggest complaint that you're going to have with this build of how slow you're going to be moving. But let's be honest about one thing. While you guys are invisible, you can actually go and barrel roll. Therefore, you can go and increase your overall movement. Infiltrate will help you out that as it gives you 25% additional movement speed and finally we are going to be rocking around with overextended why this is purely so we can go and effect a massive room therefore we can have a much larger room to go and put to sleep now as for our melee weapons it's actually going to be a little bit different slash interesting now we don't really need to worry about making too much noise when it comes to our melee weapon as a normal enemy won't actually go and hit. So what you guys can simply do is go and add your mods to give you a lot more damage mods. I'm talking your crits, your base damage and all of that good stuff. But on top of that, make sure that you guys do go and add finishing touch. If you guys didn't know, because we're going to be putting the enemies to sleep constantly with Ivara, we're then going to be able to go and continuously go and utilize this particular mod. So you're always going to be getting that 60% additional finishing damage. Now, one thing I do want to add what makes melee weapons so good when it comes to ranking up solo is a school tree called Naramon. So make sure you guys have Naramon equipped and we want to take full advantage of a node called Affinity Spike. And kills from a melee weapon grants 45% more melee affinity. That is absolutely phenomenal and yes, it does stack up with the stealth kill affinity boost you do get from killing the enemy. So on top of that, we're going to be getting ourselves the 500% additional stealth along with the 45% additional stealth kill. And on top of that, we are going to go and utilize a affinity booster. So depending on what you guys want to rank up, there's going to be actually a little bit of a different build. So one thing I do want to talk about is if you guys are either going to go and max out a primary or secondary, you need to go and add a mod called, you know, Hush, which basically reduces your 
noise on your gunfire if you guys didn't know if you guys are using ibarra and you fire a noisy weapon then your invisibility will immediately go and break the same can be said if you guys decide to go and sprint but hey hush is not really a bad mod to go and have you can basically just go and equip it and go and decimate the living daylights out of the enemies and of course if you guys do have extra mod capacity Go and add your base damage mod such as your heavy caliper and your serration and your crit and whatever you guys feel is necessary. Because remember, we have to go and kill these enemies at the end of the day. And we're not going to be having too much luck if we're just going to sit there and just shoot, shoot, shoot and just blow out our entire clip. So make sure to go and add your damage output mods. Now, as for the node, we basically want to go to Sedna, which is located at the very tippy top. And we want to go to a node called Adaro. Now, Adaro is a grenier extermination where the enemies' levels will be ranging between 32 and 36. You basically want to go and do this. And please, for the love of everything that's holy in this land, make sure that you are playing in solo particularly solo because a you'll be able to go and pause it if you guys need to go and do a bathroom break and the main thing is, is that if you guys are in public then you'll be able to go and have the randoms join you and therefore they'll go and ruin absolutely everything so please oh please oh please make sure that this is in solo simply go invisible switch to your arrow you can tell which arrow we are by using the blue one that's got the color of a moon on it so go up to the enemies like so check your area and then go and execute it and as you guys can see, we just got ourselves the 100% additional, you know, XP if we go and kill an unaware enemy. And on top of that, because we've got extra stealth or extra power strength, we'll be able to then go and, you know, get more energy thanks to Arcane Energize. Now, I want you guys to pay attention to the top right. As you guys can see, every time I go and kill an enemy, we're then going to be able to go and, you know, increase our stealth. But also make sure that everything is everyone's asleep and no one's aware of your surroundings because remember if these guys do see a dead body or you feel them or you walk up to them then they're going to be alert and therefore you won't be able to go and kill that target our war fans are finally max rank i do want to say it didn't take me around 12 minutes i feel like it took me around like 10 even though this does say 13 minutes and 47 seconds as you guys can tell, some of these enemies, if you guys go after the Xmas units from the behind, you'll be able to go and get a ton of XP. And remember, this entire run was without any XP whatsoever, or any, without any XP booster at all.